Hello YouTube, Hiker Daniel here. Were you ever just playing Pokemon and thinking, man, those lava cookies taste bad? Well, I have something for you that tastes even better. A special offer just for you. One Slowpoke tail for just a million Poke Dollars. What do you say? A good deal, right? No? Okay, well, find someone else then. Well, that said, I was recently replaying Pokemon Silver and came across the Slowpoke tail again, and I wondered what the history behind this. Because it's quite a long running easter egg by Nintendo by now, so I decided to delve into to see what the history behind it is. As many Pokemon players will know, the tale of the Slowpoke uh, being tasty and a nutritious delicacy in the Pokemon universe has been sort of a running gag ever since generation 2. In that generation we are introduced to a random man on Route 32 that offers to sell us a Slowpoke tail for only a million Poke Dollars, which according to him is quite the bargain. Now, of course, nobody can actually buy it since we cannot obtain a million Poke Dollars in the game, as it's one dollar above the maximum amount we can obtain. However, not much later in the game, we are introduced to Team Rocket, who are cutting off the tails of venerated Slowpokes in the well of Azalea Town to sell them for profit. The player then has to stop Team Rocket, the slave to save the Slowpoke, then get friends with Kurt, etc. But Later in the game we enter a small souvenir shop in Mahogany Town, which turns out to be a scam shop to mask Team Rocket's base. However, just before the shopkeeper is unmasked by Lance, you can actually buy some souvenirs here, including a Slowpoke tail for only 9,800 Poke Dollars this time, which is a true bargain. Although this is unfortunately removed from the, from the Generation 4 remakes. However, ever since Generation 2, the Slowpoke Tail has been kind of a running easter egg in the, in the games, with some other Pokemon games containing an easter egg to it. In Pokemon X and Y, the Slowpoke Tail is a dish served in a fancy restaurant called Le Jean. And in the demo version for Pokemon Sun and Moon, a police officer he's thinking about interrupting an illegal Slowpoke Tail dealer, which turns out to be just a Slowpoke fan. And in Pokemon Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon, all sort of Slowpoke Tail dishes can be found on a shelf in the Thrifty Mayor Markt. Also, numerous Pokedex intros across the series mention how good the Slowpoke's tail tastes, with a sweet tasting tail that has a very nice chew to it. Nintendo even released, as part of their Japanese Pokemon merch line, a plushy Slowpoke tail. Meaning that if you travel to Japan, you could actually buy a legal Slowpoke tail, which is essentially a doll. But what is the in-universe story behind this very rare delicacy? Well, if we snip together the Pokedex entries, we can find out that in the Pokemon universe, the Pokemon Slowpoke has a tail with a very sweet tasting tip, as I mentioned before. The Pokemon apparently uses this sweet tip of his tail to lure for fish. The fish are then lured by the sweet taste of the tail, and when a fish is bitten into its tail, it takes its tail out of the water and eats the fish. It's also said that every once in a while their tails fall off naturally, and then it regenerates by itself after a while. And that these fallen tails are a legal delicacy enjoyed by many of the Pokemon world's richest of people. So it turns out that for all terms and purposes, Slowpoke tail in dishes is very much legal as long as they're obtained in a Slowpoke friendly way, so in a natural manner. And not in the way that Team Rocket likes to obtain them, just cutting them off to make a quick buck. I mean, it still is its way for obtaining fish for food, so... If you cut it off prematurely, you basically condemn your Slowpoke to starve, and if you take away the tail, you also take away its method of evolving in nature, as this requires a shelter to bite on its tail. Of course, as this food is one of the rarer things and it's highly sought over, it comes at a high price when obtained legal, and this has created a black market for sought off illegally obtained tails, so the market that Team Rocket sells them to, which explains the shady souvenir shop. And there you have it, the history of Nintendo's long-running Slowpoke Tail easter egg. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, consider hanging around and watch a few more of my Nintendo videos. If not, well, the time we had here today was fun enough, I suppose. Let's see, I will see you later, as I, I have some completely legal tales to sell. Bye.